Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee, and uh, welcome back to more Super Metroid. In the last part, we got some stuff I don't really recall. Oh yeah, Spring Ball and Expansions. Yeah! And this episode, I'm going to be continuing on, and I'm hoping that I can probably beat this game in only a few more, uh, in a few more episodes. And, I know, kind of know where we're going next. Kind of don't. Because this, this part right here where I am right now, I kind of wasn't expected to come over here. I just noticed this while I was loading it up that there was something down there. So I decided to come down here. And it looks like it was a secret area. So, I can either A, continue on this way, or B, go back over there. And considering that this will take me to a boss, or maybe not, but... You know, I'm going to go back up there and see if there is anything that was, uh, mi that could have been missed, so, yeah. Don't worry, I am gonna go, I am gonna come back down here as soon as I figure out what was up there, because it looked rather important. And, as soon as we get up here, figure out where we are. Ah, I know where this place is. I think. I really haven't gotten time to really appreciate just how good the music in this game is. Mostly because my computer isn't really playing the music loud, except for this time around, for which is kind of odd. And I hope this isn't a place that leads me to nothing. And... Aha! This is a fake wall! And we go over here, and there... Whoa! Nope. Okay, what is up here? We have a door that leads me to... Another hallway. Let's see if this hallway leads to anywhere. No, it doesn't. It leads to nothing, so this could possibly lead to a secret expansion or something. <coughs> Sorry about that. It is really cold here in Memphis. Yes, that's where I live. I live in Memphis. One of the greatest places on Earth, filled with crime and political scams like no, like nobody's business. Yes, yeah, so happy. But honestly, I do like it here in Memphis, even if it is rather annoying, and uh, t pretty much every day the same news is practically the same. So, yeah. But it doesn't mean that I like it here. I actually really like it here in Memphis, because I lived here most of my life. It could use with a little bit of, um, cleaning, so to speak. And no, I don't mean, like, actual cleaning. I mean, like, crime needs to be a bit cleaned up, but hey, other than that, it's pretty nice here. Do, do, do. And in, yes, if anybody is going to ask, yes, I have been to Graceland about three, four times. Some of which were um, field trips and a couple of which were with family members. And it's actually possible I could have gone like more than five or six more times because uh, other family members have come here too wanting to go to Graceland, and I always said no because, well, would you want to go to a place that you've been to like five or six times, even if it is the King of Rock and Roll's house? Oh, whatever. See, it doesn't look like there's anything else we can do here. I would check down there, but the only thing we got when we went down there was the Super Missile Expansion and the regular Missile Expansion, so it really isn't worth the trouble trying to check for another thing, even if it is an energy tank, because as you can see, I have plenty of energy right now. Even though I would recommend getting more for later, I would say this is pretty good for the time being. Let's see, going down here, killing all these things. So much fun. And let's see, what? I swear there's like something... I swear, that looks like a secret right there. I'm gonna try that real quick. Is this a secret? And it is possibly not. So I am wasted a power bomb, but then again I've been wasting power bombs most of the game anyway, so it's not any, like it's not anything different. But anyway, we come over here, save, because I don't want that two hour F up thing to happen again like last time I played this game. <clears throat> I forget how long it's been since I played this game other than um well the obvious time being now. And no there is not there is a possible place you can shine spark here that will allow you to get like a secret, I think. Oh, come on, that was the same place you dimwit. 
I don't exactly recall if you get anything by doing this. I just am doing it right now and I'm failing poorly at it, but hey! Look what I found! A door! And Metroids! Single brain Metroids! I think these are not real Metroids, I forget what they're called. But the fact that I can beat them regularly with just a couple of ice beams means that they're not real Metroids. For those of you who are not familiar with Metroids and are just now finding out what a Metroid is, other than the original game, or not the original game, but the original uh, video, you would. A Metroid is basically a vampire esque uh, alien thing. To basically, to sum it up, they had the ability to suck out your life energy. That's pretty much all you really need to know. And no, they're nothing like Edward, cause Ed or Edward from Twilight, cause Edward from Twilight sucks, does not suck blood. He chews, and he's also a big wuss. Oh yes. Okay. All Twilight crap aside, here we go. This is a mini boss to the um, to the boss that's coming up. So this is pretty much a clear sign that we are getting really close to getting to the third boss of the game. And that means that we're almost three-fourths of the way done. Now, I heard that there is an easy way to kill this guy, but I don't really know what it is, mostly because of the fact that um, when I heard about it, I only was told that there was a way to do it, but I wasn't told the exact specifics. However, shooting it with super missiles over and over again isn't really that bad either, so... Eh, nothing lost, I guess. There we go. You just need to hit it in the head with a couple of super missiles here and there. And then once you run out of super, super missiles, sorry, you need to start using your regular missiles, and that shouldn't be... By the time you start... Well, never mind. Super missiles took care of him anyway. And he breaks down this wall somehow with his mind, and I just realized that there is more stuff down there I could have gotten, but odds are it was missiles and super missiles. In other words, stuff I really don't need. So, I'm just going to skip it for now. Whoa, red blob things. I don't remember what they are. Ah, energy tank. Must. Get. Energy. Tank. For. Stuff. Whoa. Oh, no. And with the spring ball, we are able to get this without any problems whatsoever. Man, I love the energy ball. Or the spring ball. And apparently we're supposed to come out here anyway, so that's good to know. Hehe. <laughs> that was easy. Spring Ball really does help you get through a lot of places. Excuse me. And let's see, we need to grapple beam our way up here, and even though this is a kind of awkward situation, you can actually jump off of the walls with this. So it's like an easy to do spin jump. Or not spin jump, easy to do wall jump by using the grapple beam like this. Unless, of course, that happens. But other than that, that's. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what we're doing right here, is the super easy wall jump. If I can just get over there, that would be nice. There we go. And I could have gone over there. Wait, no, I couldn't because of the fact that the door was closed. Oh, well. Now, you know what I was saying a second ago that there was no way to... I didn't know what the way to beat the boss over there, the mini boss over there, really quickly? I know of a really short way to beat the next boss. So I could possibly beat two bosses in a single episode today. Hooray for progress! Even though I've been having a lot of progress lately, it feels good to know that I'm going to be able to finish this game pretty soon. Don't ask me why, I just do. Even though I'm facing the wrong way, I'm going to try to... Go... Well, that did not go well. That did not go as planned. Okay, something's down there. I can tell there's something down there because it hurt me. And I'm not really making any sense. Come on. It, no, come on, Samus. Get up there. No! Samus, stop trying to sink in sand and jump up there to grapple thing. Come on already, Samus! It, uh, this is just fabulous. There we go. Now this time, Samus... It, yes! There we go. 
Man, I hate that part. I was trying to remember what I didn't like about this. Now I remember. Alright. Getting through this door. As you can see, there's a secret, but there's also a secret or expansion thingy over there. Another map, so I might as well check that out. What do we have? Oh, energy refill, that's good. We're gonna need it for the way to get past this boss really quickly. Even though I'm coming up on 10 minutes, I'm pretty sure I can beat this guy. Or not coming up to 10 minutes, but you get the point. Even though we're probably running close to um, time where I normally would cut off, and normally when I fight a boss it would take quite a few minutes, but this boss is going to be so short I bet I can beat it before I decide to uh, cut the episode off. So, yeah, and I got a missile and didn't really want it. Oh well. So you may be thinking that we're kind of stuck here, but it turns out that these spikes are not real. What about these ones over here, I wonder? These spikes are also not real. So we can go down here, where there's that boss door, or we can go back up there and find out what was in that other area, where the spikes were also fake. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh. Well, that was pointless. Anyway, going down here, we have that door, so secret super missiles will take that care of that in one shot. Yes. And battle music. No. Wait, I already saw this coming. And whoa, what the? Okay, first part. Shrimp babies. What is this, Dark Sea 2? No, it is not. We are supposed to destroy these things if we want to make sure that the walls don't hurt us, but it's also part of the um, secret way to beat this boss, as you'll see in a minute. There it is, the super giant shrimp thingamajig with a spike tail. Okay. Step one, get webby. Step two, wait until it starts um, holding you. Then try to find the... Uh, those things. Start trying to shoot for grapple. Okay, I'm not making any sense for here, but shoot with your grapple beam to one of those things, and... Electrocution! And he's dead! That was quick. And it's not even 13 minutes yet. Yeah! And then the shrimp baby's coming to bury its mother. Aww. I don't really feel bad for this one because it turns out this was like a pirate, space pirate leader, so in other words, it was an evil mother, so... No problem killing something that was evil. And what is this? We get the space jump! Essentially, it is wall jumping without the wall. That's the best way I can describe it. As you'll see right here. We can in jump infinitely, there is no limit to how far, how much we can jump. You just need a good timing and that's it. First, is there a secret in here? No, there is not. So we can just get out of here. Yep, we made quite a bit of progress today. We got two bosses down, and one of them was uh, integral to the plot, so there we go. So now all I had to do is just get out of here, and we can move on to finding the next bosses, getting to the next area and whatnot. Hmm. But first, I'm going to save and cut the episode off here because, well, as I just said, we beat two bosses and stuff. So, I am William Frisbee, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.